Good morning. We're starting today's video a little earlier than usual because today I woke up to the most unusual of sights at the tourist park, a rainstorm. But come rain or shine, it's still a great day to be at the tourist park and the animation team are ready to keep people entertained all day long. There's just one problem, all the games are stored outside. So we're taking an umbrella, but I'm in. Then we need to carry the things and the umbrella. The umbrella huh? so. Maybe uh, a bag of the trash bag? Yeah? I mean, like, yeah, yeah, that's just the head up, just head up with this. The three musketeers set off valiantly into the downpour, and me, being the professional documentary maker that I am, decided that I had to just follow them. Oh, Jesus! Super Bowl, the first one. So, guys, do, do you get paid extra money for the rain? <laughs> no? Okay! Let's go! Completely soaked, it's time to start the activities down in the salon, and a little bit of rain certainly hasn't drowned Roberto's spirit. Killer bull. Killer bull. Today we are a lot of people, so two lives per person. And oi, dos lives per person, so you have to treat them very carefully. Okay? Only two lives. That's one in. Five minutes later. Now the there is one ball left. You have two options. You can decide to. Option A, take the shot. Option B, you can make a beautiful dance. Next up was Pellet, and I was interested to see how the self-professed a tank Olympian Roberto would fare with Pellet Breton. Pretty well it seems, and just look at those socks. Anyway, the morning was flying by, and it was soon time for the Golden Game, and the main man himself swung by to say hello to the kids. With the weather still looking ominous, Kelly invited me along to meet some of the other staff who make the tourist park so special. Can you see them all? Ah! First up, there's the restaurant team. The waiters and waitresses do a great job serving drinks and cleaning up tables for the three daily meal services. And of course, the kitchen staff work tirelessly behind the scenes to cook the delicious food served to the guests. Next up was the bar staff. There's two main teams at the tourist park. The bar staff working in the Torito snack bar are led by Manolo, and in the main bar, Juan de Dios is the man at the helm. Hola, soy Juan de Dios, trabajo aquí en el Hotel Tauro, en el bar Ambibú, y soy jefe de barra. ¿Y cuáles son tus responsabilidades en el trabajo? Mis responsabilidades, porque todos los camareros vengan bien, sirvan bien, recojan, sean agradables, sonrientes. ¿Y cuánto tiempo llevas trabajando aquí en el hotel? Llevo unos 16 años. Mucho tiempo. Sí, sí, mucho tiempo. ¿Y te gusta tu trabajo? Me encanta mi trabajo. The reception staff do a fabulous job of getting everyone checked in on busy changeover days and dealing with any problems that crop up during your stay. Mi nombre es Nuria. ¿Y qué te gusta de trabajar en la recepción? Pues el trato con el público, que todos los clientes están contentos y hacen bien. And finally, I wanted to speak to one very special lady who always makes our holidays, Antonia, one of the lovely cleaners. ¿Cómo te llamas? Antonia. ¿Y cuánto tiempo llevas trabajando en el hotel? 14 temporadas. 
ropa. ¿Y qué haces aquí? Aquí, pues, cuidar a la gente. Yo me lo tomo así. <risa> ¿Y cuál es la parte favorita de tu trabajo? Hombre, cuando vienen clientes de muchos años, que les tengo cariño. Luckily, the weather was finally clearing up as we headed outside to take a team photo with the cleaners. But before we headed back outside, Roberto wanted to show me around the DJ box. Bueno, uh, guys, uh, this is the my little cave uh, where we do the all the lighting for the shows and for the mini disco and for everything that happens here on the stage with the sound and the lighting and also the well the smoke and the screen, the screen in the back. And now we are going to show a little bit how the light uh, system works. Uh, we control all lighting with this computer. As you see, there are a lot of buttons. Every button does uh, different things. So, for example, if you see, come and see the here the screen. We have presentation, and this will turn everything, almost everything, on. This button will move all the robots. The, with the smoke, it's very beautiful. All this uh, really dresses the stage. I I don't have like any routine that I have to follow. This is the good part, it's a very creative uh, job. There are some shows that you know from years, like the Michael Jackson show, that you know perfectly the whole show, and you normally do more or less the same. Some days you can vary some things or add new things, and you are always evolving, always improving also with the show, no? But uh, normally you already know what's going to work with each number, and at one exact moment you have to do this change of lighting, which looks very cool. When you are spot on in the exact moment where you have to do something and you time it perfectly with what you know is going to happen. Sometimes have happened some disaster, like the program has froze completely and it has froze in a moment in which you had this kind of lighting. This is the worst thing that I can remember that happened. This happened in a Michael Jackson show. <laughs> and it was going on for a few minutes until I could uh, restart the program. Everybody, the, the dancers uh, were looking at me like, you know, what's going on? But, you know, nothing I could do. I had to be calm and just restart the program so that it could, it could work again. The lighting is a part of the, of the job that I absolutely love. It's a creative job and you are doing something also with the performers, with the artists, accompanying them, no? And trying to give a certain vibe to the show in each moment. You can feel some pressure if, uh, you know, uh, we need a black and out. It has something about it, there is something about it that I absolutely love. And I'm very happy to do it uh, almost every, every evening. This afternoon, the adult activity was wine tasting. <laughs> Ready. Yes, yes, yes. Today is some very good things. Very good. <laughs> oh, special cheese today. Eh? Yes, yes, for you. Yes, no, we have for a little. Yeah, I've just had lunch, and somebody scheduled the cheese and wine after lunch. So I'll do my best. <laughs> my, my activity, but I am diva and humble. And I'm gonna do water basket. Oh, no, no, another my favorite activity. Eh? And this is a cheese with quality. Quality. What would you say? Quality yeah. cheese. Good. It's I coming from. It's best. coming from. 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 From a charm? From the. No! <laughs> we made Roberto and Neil this cheese. Roberto made the cheese. Wait, they say. Why? Wine. I have to go to the cellar. See you in a minute. Ha! Well, we have four wines today. Wine number one. Empezamos con el vino número uno. Smells like wine. Is there a wine expert on the animation team? Well, yeah, me. I'm a sommelier. <laughs> no, no, the wines is true. I cannot keep this this character on because the wine. I have no idea about wines. Um, so the wines, you know, just uh, Xavi, Gerard, they do the selection uh, and they just give me the wines and I carry on from there. Oh dear! Judging by Hazel's face, they don't do a good job. Oh. 
That's not a great recommendation. <laughs> That's slightly better than the other one. But being honest, we were there more for the cheese and biscuits than the wine. I know. Mm. 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 <laughs> this, uh, this cheese is one of my best cheeses. Welcome Selena to the team here helping us. Uh, oh, another, yeah. oh, here we are very tough, eh? we are yeah, tough yeah, judges yeah. here. Yeah. We're wine connoisseurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a rose. Nice little number. Gracias. I don't know. Catalan. Going up. Five, six, seven, seven eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> More inebriated, it, it tastes better, doesn't it? Mm. I do think that's a bit better. Well, let's go with wine number four. Vino numero cuatro. The red wine. Uh, yeah, that's better. Uh, there are all the grapes. Yeah, and we do. Yeah. With Selena looking just as befuddled as the guests. It was time to move on to the scoring. And we say also, cheers! Cheers! We will attack by the north tomorrow morning. Our troops will be resting in the, in the mountains. You said the Caspian Sea? <laughs> <laughs> That's not right, surely. Oh, referee problem. A ver. Can we have clarification on what the difference between a half and a third is? It's not clear. Vale. Okay, guys, so. <laughs> you can say that's a half. <laughs> that, this is a half. <laughs> yes, yes, don't tell me. And that is a third. And this is a third. Hmm, looks more like a quarter to me. And I think more or less that's a half. So now we understand the difference between a half and a third in terms of. Because you uh, said for that one it was a Ah, uh, this I don't know. Okay. I say it, but... <laughs> a special secret surprise prize. <laughs> so, let's see who wins. If it's nine and three quarters, I take this and I go inside the column. <laughs> and despite knowing nothing about wine, we somehow managed to scrape a victory. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have the Golden Hotels Edition for the Campbell's family. Bravo, 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 bravo. The secret special surprise. Wait for me. I'll take this stuff. This stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a tour of your cheese factory instead? <laughs> now, you already you already claim the you already, you already claim the street is. We tried out. Well done. So, Wow. If you come to the wine tasting at the Golden Tourist Park this year, that's the kind of entertainment you're in for. Just a regular day at the Tourist Park. I tour, obviously, as we know, is a professional entertainer, but I don't think, I don't think his head's on the game today. Do you see anything wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> and just for the record, that was not set up for the camera. That was the way I... Robert work. I tour on holiday. holiday. Guys, in that game you need to try to do less points. The wine wasn't doing anything for my dart skills, so I decided to head over the road and film a bit of the football, since it's one of the most popular sports activities. Unfortunately for me, Roberto had other ideas, drafting me in as a last minute replacement goalkeeper. And after the game, I made a surprise announcement that I was going to join tomorrow's bike excursion. Oh my god, I'm going to go to Grey. You need to put your new spot now, Sam. All these years. <laughs> All this year. I know. Finally, you're going it's to a join special, a, a special, bike excursion. Yeah. This is really meaningful, eh? <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Thank you.
Wow, I cannot believe I'm writing this down. So it's Rob and Rachel. Rob and Rachel. Yeah. Bikes. So he does write it down after all. We were down. Is he going to remember? In the reception, there's a clear sign that if you want to do the bike excursion, you have to give your name to Roberto. And he's writing it down. I'm really impressed with his professionalism now. Ah, I guess I spoke too soon. Anyway, back at the pool, since Aqua Gym had been rained off, Aitor ended the daytime activity program with an aqua dance session. And before clocking off, Aitor had one more job to do. I am making a super diploma. <laughs> if you want to make one diploma, I'm gonna do step by step. Look, come with me. First, I write the names and later, with the colors, I have different type of colors. Look, professional. I take the colors and I decorate the diploma. Oh my god, very fun, super posh. And this is how I made a super diploma. <laughs> okay, eight o'clock in the evening. Now I'm gonna eat something for dinner. Last round. Let's go. Before the kids' disco, Araceli and Mariam showed us their balloon making skills. We make the hair, then some feet, and the back parts. And Very good. Doggy. <laughs> Well, she tries her best, no? <laughs> DJ Hazel. <laughs> Tomorrow land. <laughs> you want to say hi? This is Rob, the best YouTuber ever. Meanwhile, in the salon, Jose was running a game for the teenagers. Are you ready? Three rings, many hooks. I think we all can agree that it's going to be hard to do. Look, look. Mr. Hooper. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but he, he it is. It sounds good. It sounds good, right? Yes. Whoa! Oh, spectacular. There's a thing that I do in the evening to the kids. I give them challenge. So, okay, everybody that wanna get the ticket, please get to the floor. We are gonna do the play. The challenge of the burpees. The challenge of the sit-ups. The plank. Why no? Some push-ups. And so, it's my favorite moment because you see all these teenagers pumping up, trying to be the strongest one. And I'm like doing what I like to be. So I would like to be a teacher. Go. Luca, get your mat down. There you go. That's my favorite activity, really. It's not a schedule activity. It's a bonus activity that I made up and it's just for the last ticket. This is how we make soldiers here in Golden Taurus. <laughs> You know, sometimes they ask us, like, how is that you are always happy? Well, this makes me happy. Do you love Golden Towers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I'm the winner! Oh, my two small lads, well done, look at what I'm gonna be. <laughs> Tonight's show was a tribute to Queen, and I have to say, this is a fantastic show. <laughs> setup now and we are going to add uh, four yellow 
lights on the front. And this, what it does, it also changes the background colors, which is pretty cool. It's lovely. Another eventful day at the Taurus Park. Anyway, I'm going to get some rest for the bike excursion tomorrow. See you next time. Time to sleep. Okay, guys. Uh, today, today we are going to go to Calella. Roberto. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> 